So if you've watched my last video, you know how it ended on the note of this auntie giving the earrings to a foreign tourist. And I wrote a text down there saying Indian mother-in-laws are famous for taking their daughter's jewelry. So today we're going to talk about boy moms are known to be very toxic not just in india even in the west i don't know what it is is it the act of carrying a male child in your womb a lot of these boy moms i don't know why they feel like producing a male child is probably the most uh, rewarding thing that they have ever done in their life if you are a male watching this video i suggest you click out right now if you come to my video and leave a stupid ass comment i will find you so let us begin two weeks after my wedding my mother-in-law proudly walked into the living room wearing gold jewelry i was given as a wedding present i wasn't mad so much as amused and i think my lack of angry reaction actually pissed her off that is so disgusting that, that is just so cheap <coughs> what who are these filthy disgusting women wearing their daughter-in-law's jewelry why was this done it's, it's just a way of showing authority this is just a way of her being upset that you have stolen the son this is how you are punished you're you're punished you're made to feel bad this is not 50 years ago where they can start torturing you and throwing kerosene on you and putting you on setting you on fire they cannot do that if there were no laws in place they would still be doing it but they cannot do that so hmm, what's a way we can trouble our daughter-in-law my mother-in-law wants me to get pregnant but i'm absolutely against it whoa she wants to baby trap you my husband is not living in india but i am what i don't want to leave india and i had told him before marriage that i'll be staying here and he also told he'll be back after wedding which as you can tell he lied it's been almost half a year now. Oh, he got married and half a year he's away from the... Wow. Today, my mother-in-law told my mom that my husband will come back on vacation for some time and she's hoping I get pregnant during that time. And he'll go back obviously without me. Dear ladies, all of you must have a book like this, right? It's got all your educational documents, your birth certificate, all the education you have gathered over the years. Burn it. Because if you are educated and you're still living like how women were living 200 years ago, I don't think you have a brain. If you leave your house and you go and live another, in another man's house and you are working for his parents, you are a slave. You should not be doing it. You will never be happy. Do not say that it's our culture. There was a time where it was cultural for Americans to go and bring slaves from Africa and use them as their personal slave. They built their country like that. But eventually people saw that it was wrong and they took a stand against it. And Abraham Lincoln died for it. There comes a point where you have to take a stand and you have to say there are certain things that have been happening in the past, but just because they have happened in the past, it does not make it okay. I don't even want to read the entire post because just reading the first three, four lines, I realized that this woman is a gone case. My mother-in-law used to tell me that a daughter-in-law should only own two pairs of clothing and a single pair of footwear. Of course, I didn't listen to her order. So one day when I was at work, she threw all my clothes and footwear into the garbage. And you are married to a man who has this kind of mother? Do not ever reproduce these crazy ass genetics. Today, I heard of a very unique situation about a distant relative. This girl got married. Uh, they live in a rural area. The parents were desperate to get her married. Obviously, they were desperate to get her married because a girl, it doesn't matter whether it's 2024, people don't see women as human. It's always someone's wife, someone's mother. Have you heard of that? Nari pe atyachar nahi hona chahiye. Wo bhi kisi ki ma hai, kisi ki behan hai. Bhai, wo hai insaan hai. Shut the fuck up. Parents were desperate for her to get married. She wanted a few more months as she was preparing for government exams. Parents did not wait. Got her engaged and married in 21 days. The groom's family is a bit conservative. Just wait for it. A bit conservative. I'll show you how conservative they are. But they said they will allow my cousin to work if she manages the house as well. They just want an educated servant. The second night after their marriage, the groom's mother literally started sleeping in between the newlyweds in the bed. The mother-in-law said, my cousin will snatch away her son. Now my cousin's parents and in-laws are crying as my cousin ran away for to live in another city. Very good. Good job. <laughs> you, you might be shocked to hear this, right? Like, 
why is a why is a mother sleeping with her grown son actually that he's married now he's on the marital bed with his wife but it is more common than you think some men think that there is nothing wrong with it because they are so enmeshed with their moms they have no courage to stand up to her and expect their wife to just accept it i was also shocked but since i saw at least five women saying the same thing this must mean it's more common than we think a female relative of mine got married 5 years ago through arranged marriage and i heard from my aunt that her mother in law also used to sleep in between her son and the daughter in law why do you guys put up with this why do you put up with this this is abuse this is emotional abuse they cannot put kerosene on you and burn you anymore this woman is a psychopath and the husband is ballless and spineless all of us we have emotional needs and for a lot of women they get married and they expect it from their husband and the husband is not giving it to them the substitute is the son and that is where the toxic boy mom appears mother in law forcing me to wash husband's underwear is washing husband's underwear my duty this this is a post on reddit this is not a post on taliban.com i am a working woman who earns her bread butter and supports husband financially i am a staunch believer that if i can do chores that men can then even my husband can do some household chores independently husband never will support the fact that i do all the things my traditional MIL tells me to do. See, this is where you went wrong. Why do you do all the things that your mother-in-law asks you to do? One day she's gonna tell you, "Hey, uh, daughter-in-law slash slave." Next time your husband is feeling like he's going to the toilet, you are going to take your hand and put it under his ass and let him shit on your your hands. The more you do for people, you're nice, you're accommodating, you're such a good daughter-in-law. You respect your elders. It will never work in your favor, my friend. It will never. work in your favor does she tell him to wash my underwear of course no you're a woman you are just to be used and thrown away obviously there's a washing machine she asks me to hand wash it like you have to understand these are all like you know there are torture methods that are used to psychologically break someone so that they divulge information these are all methods to trip away all sense of self respect from you so that you lose your identity I have seen many bad daughter-in-laws also. The daughter-in-laws who don't live at home, they live abroad. They don't have any kids. They don't do any peri pona and all that. Everyone is very well behaved around these daughter-in-laws. Everyone knows that you know what? If I if I mess with this girl, she's a demoness. If I mess with this girl, she's going to cause trouble. So people don't mess with you. Unless it's a small child, you should not be washing other people's underwear because you are not a slave. This is the experience of real people. So please do not come on my video invalidating whatever has happened to these women. When you start living with someone and that other person starts controlling your decision making, what time you get up, what you wear inside the house, all these little things, they will keep on chipping away your original personality you know why a lot of indian men call women gold diggers because their mothers are gold diggers uh, my cousin got married her in-laws were in favor of marriage for reference we are odias and my jeju's family are jat there were major issues during the wedding which is why the wedding should never have happened in the first place which unfortunately resulted in a huge quarrel between my cousin and her mother-in-law oh, two women fighting over a man <laughs> So now the central problem arises. After the pehli rasoi, my sister's mother-in-law, the cousin's mother-in-law, asked her for jewelry so that it isn't stolen, as the house is filled with guests. Because she is a little baby doll and she doesn't know how to take care of her jewelry. My sister doesn't want to give her jewelry to her mother-in-law as the mother-in-law is greedy and hates my sister because she hasn't brought any dowry. Of course, we know how this ends. And by the way, this is a recent post, so this happened in 2024. So in 2024, these boy moms are out here taking their daughter's jewelry. My sister-in-law doesn't want to give the jewelry. She has conveyed her reluctance to part with the jewelry, but my brother-in-law thinks his mom is in the right. Why the fuck do you marry these idiots? My sister has stole all her jewelry in the bank lock. Very good. <laughs> but when she returned and informed my brother in law all hell broke loose a lot of these men are in love with their mothers they know that in society you cannot marry your mother and they know you can't reproduce with your mother so they say okay you know what i'm just going to go and get a girl i can be with my one true love my mommy producing a child does not give you a right over that child's life and child's freedom 
this is the time to like go online do some research about it in the world of psychology there is a lot of research about this phenomenon if we really want to evolve as a species we have to remember that our kids are not our property and if you give your kids that kind of respect and love maybe while when you are old they will still be in your life but if you make their life hell they will resent you they will hate you and there is a very high chance that when you are old that they will not be around you which is why i say that instead of uh, scrolling through reels and shorts go read a book buy a book on the topic that you're interested in especially if it's like self help psychology uh, go and read stuff do not watch too many videos but it's very easy to get distracted when you're watching videos so if you want to really improve your life if you want that by the time you're in your 30s 40s you want to have a better life if you want to have a happy life if you want to have a peaceful life get off the internet